Yes, little kitty. But let me tell you, our sun is not the largest star in the galaxy. <laughs> well, in that case, let me take you and our lovely audience on a space tour to explore the largest twinkling stars in the Milky Way. Zoom in! Stars, as we have already learned so much about them in our previous videos, please check them out afterwards. The links are provided in the description below. So, let's start with our very own sun, aka a yellow dwarf star to compare with. It has a diameter of 865,370 miles making it the largest object in our solar system. It is so big that more than a million Earths could fit inside it. But you'll be surprised to know that the next star, a red supergiant star called Antares, located in the Scorpion constellation, is estimated to be around 700 times the sun's diameter. Yes, it is large enough to engulf the orbit of Mars if the solar system was centered on it. But wait, this is just the beginning and let's move to the Orion constellation, situated around 643 light years away from the Earth, to witness a star named Betelgeuse. It is a red supergiant, roughly 950 times as large as the Sun and about 14,000 times brighter. Following this, let's move 4,900 light years away from Earth in the Cepheus constellation to witness BB Cephei which is around 1,050 times larger than the Sun. And Mu Cephei, a cool red supergiant about 1,260 times bigger than the Sun, which can be visible to the naked eye. Now let's travel to the Cygnus constellation, located around 5,000 light years away from the Earth and look at KY Cygni, a red supergiant of spectral class M3.5 LA that ranges from 1,420 to 2,850 times larger than the Sun. Following that, we have V354 Cephei, situated in our Milky Way galaxy but is 9,000 light years away from the Earth and is around 1,520 times larger than our Sun. The one larger than V354 Cephei is RW Cephei, which is also located in the Cepheus constellation. This hypergiant variable star is about 1,535 times larger than the Sun. Now, the time has come to meet the second largest star in the Milky Way galaxy, and that is Vivi Canis Majoris, located around 4,892 light years away from the Earth. This star is extremely rich in oxygen and is 1,420 times larger than the Sun. It's so large that its light takes about 8 hours to travel around its own equator. Isn't it fascinating, my friends? Indeed it is, but not as much as the largest star located right in the center of our Milky Way galaxy, the UI Scuti. Yes, that's because it is not only the largest star in our galaxy, but one of the largest stars found in the entire observed universe after Stephenson 2-18. The UI Scuti is estimated to be around 1,700 times larger than our yellow dwarf sun, which comes across as massive 
1.1883 billion kilometers in size. Not only that, it is about 340,000 times more luminous than our sun, because of which it can be clearly seen without a telescope from the Earth, despite being 5,219 light years away from us. It is so big, we could fit 489 trillion Earths into the volume of this star. Put another way, if you replaced our sun with UI Scooty, Saturn would take the place of Mercury as the closest planet to the sun, and everything else would be engulfed by this hypergiant star. Now, that's big, really big. Trivia time! Did you know the UI Scuti was discovered by German astronomers at the Bonn Observatory in 1860? Also, it is believed that UI Scuti has begun to fuse helium and will eventually go supernova. And what is that? To know about it, please check our video on the same topic. Hope you learned something fascinating today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Sun, too small. Let's replace it. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs>